Hey everybody, how are ya? Hope you are doing so very well. So, this happened yesterday. Yeah, so Miss Agnes, she's leaving the island, and, you know, I'm not super torn up about it because she is in a starter house. She was my very first sisterly villager. Actually, yeah, she was one of my two starter villagers. My other one is Mr. Pierce, but he's still here. He's still hanging. Um, so yeah, I thought today we could just go bid a very nice farewell to Agnes and just see what's going on and I'll update you guys a little bit on the state of my island. Let's go! I'm very excited to go villager hunting. I've been waiting for it. I've been waiting for the day to go villager hunting again. Um, first thing I wanted to show you guys was I am thinking about making this area like a very small miniature orchard. These are cherry trees. I threw them here just to kind of see how I would feel about them. And then I think this is going to be oranges. And then down here is going to be peaches. I'm not going to use apples and pears. Not apples because they are my native fruit. But not pears because they're my sister fruit. So I just won't have any pears on my island. It'll be chill. I don't know, I just- I have a lot of space right here, and I'm just not 100% sure what to do with it. So I might do a little speed build of that, and see how I like it, but I'm always changing stuff around, so we'll see what it do. This is a sad, unfortunate snowboy right here. You know what would be a good home for me? A walk-in freezer would be a good home for me. Alright! <laughs> anyway, um... Oh, I'm supposed to be going up to Miss Agnes's house. I got really distracted with the little orchard. Let me cut back through here this way. But I finally got around to putting a little bit of pathing in front of resident services. As you can see, I left this part blank because everyone likes to sit right here. <laughs> so I thought I'll put some like cute little... Hi, <laughs> Dangle, you're so adorable. I'll put some like cute little custom designs or something here. I'm sorry, I just have to take a photo, because it'd be cute. Wee! <laughs> so sweet! Hey! Just, just two people hanging out! Hey, sucker! He's meditating. Alright, so Miss Agnes, she's up here. Oh, she's right next to Zucker's house. And I am kind of sad to see her go. I really like Agnes's design. I don't know what the interior of her regular house looks like, but you know, we just, it's time. It's time to let her figure herself out. Oh, you're wearing that coat I gave you. Oh, sweet girl. Um, dang, Agnes was one of my favorites in pocket camp, funny enough. I don't know, I just love her. And I is she newer? Cause I don't remember her being in Wild World or City Folk, but maybe I just never ran into her. Hey sweet thing. Hey cupcake, thanks for stopping by. So if the boxes don't make it obvious, I'm moving out. Girl, I know you asked me to. I gotta thank you for your advice the other day. It really helped me get my head straight. Thanks, Snuffle. I'm so glad we got a party together. I hope we'll be able to rock again someday. Stay awesome, alright? All right, sweetie pie with your cute little pink ears. Uh, you'll be missed, but it's time. Bye, Agnes. Dang. Yeah, so who else is in a starter house? Zucker's in a starter house. Um, I guess I'll show you guys the current state of my map, which my waterscaping is a little crazy. It's a little weird, but it's like. So yeah, Pierce is in a starter house, um, and I guess just Zucker is in a starter house. Keaton was my campsite villager. I kind of want him to vacate the premises next. Uh, who could go after that? I am hanging on to Zucker because one of the 
little children that I work with, who likes to go by Audie. Sweet, sweet enough. I call her Miss A, but she likes to go by Audie. I'm keeping Zucker for Audie. She just got Animal Crossing. She's eight years old and, or almost eight, turning eight this Friday. Happy birthday, Audie. <laughs> and she just got Animal Crossing. So she needs to get her campsite villager before she can take Zucker. So I'm saving Zucker for her. And who else? I don't know. I definitely want to keep Hornsby. I want to keep this whole row for a little while, but I am stoked to villager hunt. I think I'm going to look for some pink dreamies since Valentine's Day is coming up. I think we're going to do that. And I just, gosh, I need to take care of this whole area. The weeds and the flowers, and, you know, I don't know. T take it as you will. I have some fossils over here that I think I'm going to uh, get assessed. And this carp right here, who needs to be donated, along with this moth. Uh, yeah, but I actually kind of like the the thing that the carp is in. They're pretty cool. Time to donate you. Give you the blabs. Hey, blathers. <laughs> oh dear, pardon me. Why, hello, Juju. Welcome to the Redfish Museum. How may I be of service? Assess fossils, please. Ooh, what would you like me to assess? I'm all of letter. Uh, these four, please. And thank you. Ooh, more than one, I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Yes, indeed, quite splendid. Alas, our museum already has fossils such as these. Gosh dang it. I'm indeed tempted to purchase these from a personal collection, but no. I must exercise restraint and return them to you now. Thanks, dude. Can I help you with anything else? Yeah, I have a donation. I have two donations. I never like to give him just a bug alone, because then he gets all spooked, you know? All right. As you can tell, you know, with the moth and the carp, I've been playing for how long now? A, a good, good couple months, I think. And <laughs> I haven't been donating enough towards my museum. All right. I think that was kind of like my big chore for the day, was to go donate those things. Let's go sell these fossils. First of all, what even are they? What are they? No. Some of them I like to keep to decorate with. Timmy, Tommy. Oh, let's check turnip prices too. Hello, boys. Juju, welcome, welcome. What do you need today? I would like to sell. Of course. I am offering these things. I'm gonna guess four to six K. What is it? What's the lucky number? Oh, wow. Okay, I grossly underestimated that. <laughs> hey, what are your turnip prices today? Hello? Okay, that's not surprising at all. Lovely. I have like 3,000 turnips on my beach right now that I need to get rid of. Bye, boys. Alrighty. Well, I guess that's really kind of what I wanted to do was, you know, go bid a very, very good farewell to Miss Agnes. Let's see if Pierce is crafting. Um, and I'm going to try to sell my turnips later today. But we'll see how that goes, because sometimes it's hard to get onto somebody's island on a Monday, because everyone's trying to sell on Monday. Hey! Hey, you! Welcome! I guess you're here for a tour of the soon-to-be world-famous Pierce's Gym. I want to chat. Well, I guess Agnes's last day here is today. Wow, I didn't think she'd do it. I'm trying real hard not to cry. I'm sad and all, but, but my tear ducts are so buff that crying super hurts. <laughs> No, 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 uh-oh. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, Pierce, I know. You guys were my first villagers. Uh, I, I've i said it before, and I will say it again. I actually really like Pierce. I, I love his colors. I love his tail. I love his blue aesthetic. He's a cool dude. You're a cool dude. Bye. I feel like before I sign off, I want to go figure out 
who's crafting. I was just like up in the neighborhood though, but let's go back over that way and see if we can find somebody who'll be crafting. 1800. You be crafting? Let's see. Nope. Well, you're not crafting. Sucker's not home. And. Oh, Raymond's home. Raymond's home. And he's crafting! Beautiful! Hey, bro. What you making? Oh, Juju. Welcome to the house of Raymond. What you doing? Glad you asked. I'm just making an ironwood cart. Do I already have that? I do. I already have that. It's in front of the museum. The rest of me came to me in a dream. Oh, you already know how to make an ironwood cart. Sure do. Well, great minds think alike, don't they? Ha ha! Thing is, I already have the recipe written down here, so take it with you and share it with a friend. Everyone deserves a chance to make an ironwood cart designed by yours truly. For sure, dude. Someone definitely wants that. Just think, what if what if my ironwood cart became the next big DIY craze? You could help start an international phenomenon, crisp. I can, and I will. I will give away this ironwood cart recipe on Nikizion. Thanks, Ray. Bye! Well, yeah, I think, like I said, I think the next place that I'm going to decorate is going to be that little orchard area and just see how I feel about it. Um, certain parts of my island I'm just like totally in love with, but hey, the can. I've really been wanting to decorate the front of the con's house too, but I keep saying like, oh, I have to move the fruit trees first, so hence why we gotta do the orchard. But yeah, some parts of my island I just absolutely love, and other parts I'm like, mm. But I guess that's what it's all about, it's just kind of the trial and error and figuring out what looks good. So I'm excited to, to see what I can fit into this little area, kind of loops back around to the museum. So yeah, we'll see woody duty there. I am already kind of excited just for when I get some sort of completion of this version of Redfish and tear it all down and do a new version because I just get so many ideas all the time. I'm like, slow ya roll, juju, slow ya roll. Um, here's all my turnips. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't put them in my house. Like, literally all of my rooms except for my my main room and my back room are are empty so I could do that maybe I will maybe that's bringing down my star rating I don't know but either way uh thanks for joining me today and for hanging out I hope that you guys have such a lovely day or night I was trying to see if I can make it look kind of cool here but honestly I just like this one and I will see you in the next one when I go villager hunting bye